Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Um, we're off to the planetarium. So we're, uh, we've still got the niece, the sobrinas, the nieces. So Janet and I, and that's Janet's friend Lucy across the road. We're gonna go to the planetarium. But for now, let's roll the intro. Planetarium. These are my little nieces here, niece sobrinas. So we're going in here. This is El Centro Nacional. It's the same where we're staying, just up the road. This is the bullfighting ring here. I'll show you that properly tomorrow. Isn't this just gorgeous, guys? Beautiful. Hello. 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 Hola, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Valentina, trabajo acá en el Planetario Bogotá, donde tenemos un domo y un museo. Eh, los invitamos a todos para que vengan y conozcan este hermoso lugar. Gracias. I didn't understand one word, but that was incredible. Well worth coming to visit, guys. You have to come here if you're in Bogotá. Well, that really was impressive, guys. There's a big museum after you've finished. We were in there for about another hour. I couldn't understand a word people were saying because the Colombians speak their Spanish far too fast for me. But it was really, really enjoyable. And the jet lag's really kicking in. Janet fell asleep during the planetarium show. I'm nearly falling asleep now, so. But the good thing is we've stayed awake all day, so tomorrow we should be back to normal. Yeah. This is Wilson, one of Janet's schoolmates. He I'd never drive the taxi now, so he's driving me around. We're gonna do a bit of touristy stuff. There's Janet and Lucy in the back. Oh, look at this, guys. This is Colombian traffic everywhere you go. Everyone's in a hurry, and it's because they're in such a hurry, it slows everyone down really, but that's I'll discuss that later. Look around here, all these old buildings. It's raining like crazy at the moment, but it's cleaning up the city. It's really quite beautiful. I keep saying it, but I love it here. This is my favorite place in the world, apart from Australia. Australia's home, of course, but I love it here. Just and now we're just passing El Campin, which is the main soccer stadium for Bogota. And um, this is really popular. There. Colombia's not champions in the World Cup, but they usually make it. Very similar to Australia, they get there, but they never make it to the finals. And James Rodriguez, is, he's like a god to these people. And just next to the Estadio de Football, the, the football stadium, is the Movie Star Arena. This is where all the bands and everything play. Look at this, guys. I don't know how well the GoPro's picking it up and it's pouring with rain. But look at this, isn't this just gorgeous? This is the movie star arena here. It's just stunning guys. And I just turned around from showing you the mountains there. Look at all these. Just amazing. Like some of the graffiti in town's just terrible, but then you get to places like this. Incredible. Yeah, so when we lived here, my Spanish was okay. We lived in Spain when I was a kid and I was pretty much fluent then when we lived here and I could understand maybe one word in two or three and that's enough to follow along in a conversation but it's been 10 years really since I've used Spanish I'm surprised how quickly it's I've picked it up again I'm nowhere near what I was but just in the two days I can get along when I go and buy something I can make it understood what I want and I can understand the prices and everything by the time we leave I'll be chatting away like a local again. Well guys, this is the Spanish era. Uh, this would be twice as old as anything I've shown you in Australia, just incredible. And from my fractured Spanish, I figure this is Iglesia de Lourdes de Chapinidos, Bogota. But please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Really, the Spanish didn't do much in South America except rape and take everything that they possibly could but one thing they did do was build some beautiful churches guys this one would be close to 500 years old and 
they really pushed religion. It was uh, the conquistadores were. Um, yeah, they weren't a very nice people. And guys, this is the Parque Nacional with the mountains in the background. Because it's raining so hard, you can hardly see the mountains from the clouds. But guys, this is just beautiful. This is the perfect day. It's raining. I was going to walk around just with the with the my camera taking photos today, but it wasn't a day for walking around. And Wilson came to visit us. I said, "Look, man, I'll give you ten dollars. I think he's going to drive me around for the day." But look at this, guys. Look at all these old buildings. El Parque La Montaña. Oh, so now I'm speaking in Spanish. Sorry, guys. The park, the mountains. Yeah, sometimes my head switches from one language to the other. Just amazing. Oh, and the columns over there, I don't think you'll be able to see them. And the parks, all, they had a big protest here the other week. So the park's blocked off, you're not allowed in there. Just incredible, guys. And Wilson just reached over and locked the doors all around me. So we're coming into the, this is like the, the area for drugs, for drugs and for prostitution and things. But we're gonna have a look around and you can see as we cross these traffic lights, just the buildings change, the the cleanliness of everything changes. But I'm going to keep the camera down, but I'll try and show you a bit of this area when we can see a bit. But because it's raining, none of the girls will be out. But yeah, that's um, yeah, everything's changed. Just crossing those traffic lights, everything's changed. I'm glad I'm with Wilson because he knows where and where I can where I can go and where I can't. But yeah, even just the looks on people's faces are different. Um, if you look out here, the buildings not as well looked after. But yeah, I've got to keep this camera down, guys. I don't want to draw attention. Yeah, there's girls everywhere here. And they've got no choice, guys. I'm really, I'm dead against sex tourism. But there's a lot of these girls, they've got no choice. So if you are going to indulge in tourism, sex tourism, treat them well. Don't treat them like they're crap. Because they're not out here by choice. They're out here because they've got no choice. And I've probably seen about 50 girls already and they've, they're all trying to make money. It's just um, very, very sad. You're sitting in your nice house doing a bit of cocaine or a bit of heroin and saying it's not harming anyone. Believe me guys, this is the result of our lust for drugs. This building here guys, this is the build, Edificio Copatrico, and it's the tallest building in Colombia. And there's another one, um, yeah, I can't see it from here, but there's another one that's nearly as big. But yes, this is the tallest building in Colombia, where in truth, it's not really that tall compared with other cities. Right um, now, guys, we're in La Entrada de Montserrat, and Montserrat is, so, is oh, sorry, I'm gonna speak Spanish to you again. It's a uh, sort of religious thing up in the hills. I've been there a couple of times before and we're gonna take you there when we return to Bogota in July. So we're not going now, but look at this guys. Absolutely gorgeous. And guys, we're in the zona Montserrat now. Just beautiful, but I'm not really gonna film here because we're like I said, we'll bring you back and show you Montserrat. But there's a cable, it's not really a cable car, it's more of a train that's pulled by a cable and it goes pretty much straight up the mountainside, but you'll see all that in July. Now I'm back with Janet and Lucy. Just walking through. This is the Galleria, it's a really popular shopping center. There's shops everywhere, but we'll go look for the girls. This is Sophia, all embarrassed to be on camera. Yeah, well guys, what an incredible couple of days that was. Just unbelievable. Um, what an incredible town. I love it here. It's not the same as it was when I was here 13 years ago when I first met Janet, but it's still, what an exciting, incredible town. But guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. Um, you may as well hit the bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can, and um, we'll see you in the next one.